What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Firewalk. Can I not show? Okay, fine. Shove it. There we go. All right, you guys. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, wow. It's wrong. What the hell? That closed behind me. That gosh dang gate closed behind me. Hell yeah, it did. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please. We can't get Delilah. into the reception. Okay. Jesus, this is a big cave. Long seat drop. Interesting. This looks nice and safe. That looks not safe at all. I changed my mind. <laughs> Oh, I never thought it was safe, but to be good with that, I checked you guys. This is the cave a ploy? So, GG game, because I thought for sure eventually I'd end up here. I just got, I just got turned around here. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a, that's a big cave. It's freezing in here. Don't, don't, don't stop. Don't talk. Stop yelling. I can totally climb out of that. No problem. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. No freaking problem. Oh, no. I'm, I'm lost again. What is that? What is that? Is anybody down there? A shoe? In the Cave of Wonders? No. Okay. This is the way I want to go. Why is, it, why is that shoe lit up for? Put a freaking light on that shoe. To be honest, that shoe does look kind of old. So. Scooby Doo. Uh, I do have a weird feeling in my stomach. Think something horrible is gonna happen to me. Bam. Hello. Hello! There needs to be a stupid pop-up ad that would... Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Back over here, eh? We saw a thing. What did it say? Oh, something else. Alright. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone <gasps> tried to trap me in there. Illuminati! No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No, there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. Oh, I didn't see that. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. That sounds... Not super exciting to be honest. <laughs> Walking back and forth. Where the heck even? Okay. Oh, I'm just. How do I? Where do I go? I thought there was a spot I'd already been before, but apparently not. Okay, so let's explore around, I guess. Interesting looking rock formations. Very square. Very squared indeed. Can't go this way. Can't go over it. Gotta go under it. Um. Shoot, man. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. Hey! Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He yeah. built himself a real castle. That's cool. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. That's cool. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's perfect. And then he, he fell off. Because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. That was probably yeah. a shoe in the cave. Uh, sorry. He was in the middle of really hmm. sprucing up the joint when they left. It looks not really badly weather damage, so... Come on, man! Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't report that. I see. Ooh, ooh, my god. Oops. 
<gasps> it's a shield! Oh my god. <laughs> don't care about your crap! Did that say? Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left That's his cool. homework. Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Hmm. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it. Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years right, for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, Sorry boss. It's, uh, I found new school an old folder. school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in he died. He left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I. Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and. Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... Hmm. I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Rope spool? Wow. <laughs> That's funny. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet wow. for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor. I regret not seven. keeping a lot of this. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my this? tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out oh. there. Oh, so I don't have to go back to my base. There's That's good. I know I radio that. schematic here. Something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. I don't know why I've been keeping this. I the reason why I wasn't keeping anything. So like, well, if these people come back, I don't want to take their crap. But obviously, I should have been doing that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. My dad, What's it say? Oh, pretty neat. That he's with his dad, and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, hmm. he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, I don't that think doesn't he knows surprise me. Friend, neighbor, Brian. didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Hmm. I like, no, I can't turn it around. Wait, what? North. Oh, I thought it said North Pole. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is going on? There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I yeah. like Pong. Everybody likes <laughs> Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. Yeah, That's man, he died. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop mm. to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Dear Ranger, how my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me? Brian Goodwin is the... the you know what? Just press keep. <laughs> Brian Goodwin is in the mail. The address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Play, Nebraska. You tell me your name and address, I'll give you a word for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The word will be good. <laughs> I'll keep it. 
Of course. Was there anything else? Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Now I'm just keeping all the things. Can't keep that. <laughs> oh, pillow, seat cushion. No, okay, I can't keep like that stuff, I see. Alright, I guess we're done here. What is that? Drive into crack? Oh, yeah, we have been seeing quite a few of these, actually. I haven't really been paying attention to them, though. Do I even want to go this way? Where are we taking myself? Uh, I guess so. Kids hideout. Dang, I expected this game to be over once we like got to the campsite. I expected that to be kind of the end, but nope. Nope. What do you think is in there? Dead bodies. There's something in there. I don't know. What do you think? I'm gonna be killed. <laughs> Let's go to that. Probably it's something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. They closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? <laughs> a, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? <clears throat> Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Yeah. Where am I now? Back on the path. Let's go deeper into the cave. Okay. Okay. Oops. This leads to the cave. So let's just go towards oh, the cave. Uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody oh. did. Oh. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Wow. Oh, here we go. Oops. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think yeah. it would be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Unfortunately. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Okay, I'm still going the right way. Yeah, let's follow the dang path. Ding, ding. All right. Whose shoe is that? I wonder. I mean, I guess the kid didn't get lost. Like, you know, they didn't end up. I'm going the wrong way. Am I going north right now? I'm going north. I want to go south. Dang it! South. South, a north, south. Poop, 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 poop. Zoom, orient, zoom slash orient. What? Interesting. Okay, where is this stupid? Is it here? Is this cave? No, where's the dank cave? Where's the dank cave? Okay, I still gotta go south. Why can't I just run with the map? Gosh dang it. Alright. It's around here somewhere. South. 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 Keep going south, buddy. You'll make it. You'll make it. I don't recognize any of this. Aha! Finally! Fine, use the dang space bar. Oh, I'm scratching my shoulder. I can't change direction. There we go. Nothing new in here. See, I almost feel like there might have been. Alright. Okay. Oh, I see. Use key. The key is now different! Shut up. This is reminiscent. Alright, asshole. Try locking the door on me now. I have a way out, sucker. Ah. Ah. It's not where the shoe is, though, is it? 
Okay. Okay. Any moment now. Where am I? Relation to the world. <laughs> Well, so we've got enough of the episode too, but I guess that's not really. We got a few minutes still. Good, we have some time to look for a cliffhanger. I think this is a part we might have already been at. Maybe that was just a shortcut. Maybe. Drop down. Um, drop down. Boom! All right, made the long jump. Drop down. Oh my god, what if this cave leads directly to hell? It is, these aren't people all along. Well. There's a cliffhanger I was learning about. In the next episode, we find out who has died, whose body that is. Thank you all for watching. Who could it be? I mean, that kid probably went home, right? Is it his dad? But his dad probably would have went back with him, assuming, right? Who could it be? <gasps> what if it's Delilah? <gasps> oh my god! She's a spoopy ghost all along. I've actually been camping this entire time. I guess that is very possible. I could just be a homeless guy in the woods. Bye, everyone.